Hello everybody, welcome one more time. This is gonna be the second part of my tutorial on how to make my Fufusha dolls. Now, as you guys uh, saw in the first video how we made the head for the doll. Now, we're gonna do the face. I'm gonna draw the face on and paint her face and stuff like that. And for the nose, guys, this is how I do the nose. You can either draw it on, like on here, see, you can draw it on, or you can do a little puggy nose like that one. So how I make the puggy nose, whatever you want to call it, guys, you take this here, the puncher, this whole puncher, you can get this at the Dollar Tree, and take uh, scraps of... Um, I keep a lot of my scraps for the uh, when I'm making the, the phones. I have a basket full of my scraps because it's very valuable to me to uh, do certain, you know, uh, stuff for the fufusha. I like the like this bow here, you know, uh, this here, um, this other bow. Just certain things that you can make with the scraps. This here, the stethoscope for the uh, doctor. Uh, disappear or the, you know so I save my scraps so what I'm gonna do for the nose I am going to punch a hole and I'm gonna keep this here okay I'm gonna keep hold on let me let me do another one I don't like the way that one came out so do it real quick and I don't know why this puncher does not punch the hole or the, the circle all the way out so I'm going to cut it out with my scissors whoops okay so there you go see you get the little round and what I like to do is make sure it has no points all the way around it because then it's not going to look like a round nose okay so then what we're going to do is we're going to glue it Okay, with your glue gun, just glue the nose. And that's what it's going to look like. Then, for the eyes, I have this little circle thing here that's also made out of foam. Okay, out of foam. Uh, so what I did was cut the circle out. And I put it on top of here like this. And I trace it with my marker. It's a ball a thin a marker from a Sharpie. I got this at the dollar store too. And what I do is I trace it and this is the way it comes out. Okay. Now you want to make sure that you're that you have and that's the way it's going to come out. Okay. So I'm going to do the other one while you guys are there. And I you know, if I would, I want to, I would like to create a stamp for the eyeballs so I can just stamp it there real quick and voila. But unfortunately, I don't know how to make a stamp for an eyeball. So I have to do this. So what I do is the tip of it, I go around it and I go around it all the way. I trace it in other words. Okay. So I trace my little mold. You got to have a lot of patience for this, you know, and if you really truly like it and you'll enjoy making these because you kind of like give it, you know, each of the dolls have their own char character, I guess. That's what you want to call it. So, yeah, so this is the way that it comes out, guys. See, that's how I do my the eyes for the dolls. Okay. Make a little, this is, I saved these. I have these saved in this little thing there that I have. You know, this, this I don't worry about, but this is my, um, my eyes for that. So then, you're going to draw the face. You're going to draw the face. Um, I don't know how we, let me see, if you want a wide smile or... A semi smile. Okay, 
So then you just draw it on there. Then we're going to, um, okay, let me give her, let me see how we're going to do this one. Okay, so, so there you go. See how it's starting to form a face. So, okay, now we're going to give her some eyebrows. Um, some eyelashes. Okay, there you go. So, there you go. And then up on the top, we're going to do, okay. That's the way she's looking, guys. So let me do a little bit of more eyebrows here. Or eyelashes, I should say, guys. Okay. So, okay. So she's got her eyelashes. She's got her mouth. And so now what we're going to do is we are going to... Get some white paint, okay? Or actually, no. Okay, this is the next step, guys. And this is not the ones that I use. Hold on. And this is what I use to paint her eyes and her cheeks and stuff. These are uh, from Recollection Signature Special. And I use these markers for her face, okay? So the first one I'm going to use is the black one. And I'm going to color in the dark part of the eyeball. Okay. And I want to be able to get to the point where I can where I can uh paint them, guys. Okay? Instead of color them in but for now, until I get bold enough, then this is going to have to do. Okay, now I think my marker is running dry. Oh, I don't know what's going on with it. Yeah. Oh, man. It's going dry on me, guys. Is this... Yeah, this is it, okay. Okay, you can either do this, or if you have a good hand, steady hand, you can color it, okay? Uh, with, uh, or paint the faces. And then I use this blue one here, royal blue, and I color the white part of it, okay? Now, you can either do it any color you want and give it green eyes, blue eyes, whatever you guys want, okay? There you go. And then we're going to do the other side, guys. There you go. See? All right. So then what I like to do is... Get something thin. Hmm, let's see what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do. What I'm going to do. I don't know if this is going to be good enough. But you need something with a... Let's try this, guys. So you can do this. This. There you go. See? And we're going to do that. You can do it with a marker. You can do it with paint. I like to do it with paint, with acrylic white paint. Okay? So next, I like to give her little cheeks, paint her little cheeks. And I'm going to, I want to get a lipstick or something to do it with that. I like using the makeup. But for now, just this is, you know, you can use whatever makeup. You can use makeup. You can use the markers, whatever you want to do. 
So I'm going to make her two little round balls. And I kind of like just spread it right there, guys, with your, okay? Give a little bit of color. I can do it with makeup, but I just started doing the tutorial and didn't pull out the makeup or anything. So, yeah. So then, see, you can just, you can do it with whatever you want to do with makeup, or you can do it with this. And just give her some colors, some color in her cheeks. And, uh, yeah. So there we go. See, that's how I do their faces. Okay. So anyway, guys, give me a thumbs up, a like, share, and all that good stuff, guys, okay? Um, and I will continue with my tutorial probably tomorrow. Um, I have certain things I got to get done, and it's already 741. But yes, this is the way I create the face. And you guys saw in the first tutorial how I created the, the head, okay? Well, thank you so much. Stay blessed and prayed up, guys, and continue to watch my tutorial on how I make my Fufusha dolls. All right, then. Bye-bye.